Hello guys, in this video we'll be analyzing the raw DNA, the autosomal DNA of a Yamnaya woman who lived in the early Bronze Age in Ukraine. Now, this Yamnaya woman was actually an outlier, which means she was not similar to the other Yamnaya individuals. And the biggest difference between her and a typical Yamnaya individual is that she had much more Anatolian Neolithic farmer and Caucasus related ancestry than typical for Yamnaya. Moving on to phenotype, with Minasha Kot, she's predicted to have dark brown eyes, snub-shaped nose and black hair. Uh, with Ysek, she's also predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, but Ysek is predicting her to have uh, black skin as well, very dark skin. Uh, and she could have had darker skin, although I don't believe so. She had enough uh, variants that have to do with lighter pigmentation. She probably was olive-skinned, in my personal opinion. And with Snipper Free, she's actually predicted to have white skin. Uh, when it comes to the HERC2 region, HERC2, OCA2 region, she had BEH1, blue eye haplotype 1, uh, which is very typical for Europeans and even East Asians and Amerindians, but she did not have blue eye haplotype 2 or 3, so she definitely had very dark eyes. When it comes to the Pro 319 Pro variant in DRD2, she was heterozygous for it, which means she had one, uh, one European no-go learner mutation. Uh, relative to Europeans, she probably had a slightly increased risk of schizophrenia, but relative to everybody else, a decreased risk. And when it comes to TAC1, also in DRD2, she had A2A2, which is a typical genotype for every uh, human. But actually, Neanderthals and monkeys of all kinds tend to score A1A1 here. And she did not have EDAR, so she did not have this East Asian um, derived East, East Asian derived EDAR, so no East Asian facial traits, no uh, shovel shaped incisors, and she did not have the European mutation that protects against myopia. So she might have needed glasses. Uh, very interesting genotype here. Um, she also did not have the European mutation for lactose persistence, which means she was probably lactose intolerant as an adult. When it comes to polygenic traits, she had a pretty below average risk score for Crohn's disease. Uh, she had a pretty above average risk score for Parkinson's disease. She had a average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, she had a below average risk score for bipolar disorder. Uh, she had an average risk score for asthma. And she had a slightly above average risk score for coronary heart disease. Here is her result with Eurogenes K13, and this is how you know she's an outlier and not a typical Yamnaya, because a typical Yamnaya is not going to score 5% East Mediterranean here. Uh, with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Tabasaran, which is a group in Dagestan plus Finnish or Estonian. Uh, but, you know, uh, the distance is very close. It's actually a pretty close distance for somebody that's from the Bronze Age. This is what she scores with MDLPK11. Uh, Yamnaya, typical Yamnaya, would not score basal. Uh, and Neolithic here, but she does, and she's actually getting modeled as a mixture of uh, Yamnaya plus, which is Potapovka, is basically like Yamnaya plus Armenia, late, late Bronze Age, or a mixture of Yamnaya plus Armenian, right? And this is what she scores with MDLPK 23B. She's got a little bit of archaic human hair, uh, so it's a very like monkey or Neanderthal component. So she's got a little bit of Neanderthal admixture, but with the Oracle, she's getting. Model that's closest to Tajik from Yagnop is uh, Pamir, right? It's Pamiri. Uh, and she can be modeled as a mixture of this Pamiri, Tajik, plus um, Crimean Tatar coast, which is actually very similar to Caucasians, or Tajik, uh, Pamiri, Tajik, plus Circassian. Uh, this is what she scores with Pandiana LK12. What makes her an outlier among all the Yamnes, which what makes her exotic, is the 14.7% Anatolian Neolithic ancestry that she's got. And because of this Anatolian ancestry, she's getting modeled as a mixture of Armenian. Uh, Middle Bronze Age plus Yamnaya or Armenian plus Afanasyevo. So she's got some shift towards Armenia relative to the Yamnaya, the, the regular normal Yamnans, right? Uh, with the Oracle, she's closest to Tajiks from Pamiri, actually, people not Tajiks, but a very high distance. And she's getting modeled as a mixture of Lizgin plus Russian or Lizgin plus Estonian, which is kind of what you see with the official G25 too, but the distance is pretty high here. And uh, this is what she scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. And I'm just gonna say this. Actually, not as much Natufian as you would expect. She's not. She doesn't have much more Natufian than me, even. Uh, but with the Oracle, she's getting modeled as closest to Kumiks and Chechens, which are people in the Caucasus. And she's getting modeled as a mixture of either Finnish plus CHG, which is kind of interesting, because Finnish actually have a little bit of CHG ancestry too, or like Adige plus Step in Neolithic, which I think is more uh, representative of what she actually is. So she's very shifted towards the Caucasus relative to Yamne people. Now, in uh, Gedrosia K3, she's scoring 90% West Eurasian, which is quite a lot for somebody from, you know, antiquity, from the Bronze Age. 
but this is still less than modern people who descend from her. This is less than Europeans, uh, less than what uh, even people of the Caucasus would score. So she's maybe a little bit more ancient, a little bit more archaic than us, right, in this regard. Uh, has less West Eurasian drift. And with G25, this is the official G25 for the sample that I found on Explore Your DNA. Uh, she's closest to Dargins and Kaitag, which are both people in Dagestan, and Avarza and Lux are also in Dagestan, so all kinds of Dagestan people. And she's getting modeled as a mixture of Dargin plus Finnish Southeast, which is kind of pretty much the same thing as what I've shown you previously with some of the other calculators in this video. Thank you guys for having watched until the end. You can actually download the sample in 23andMe format from link which is in the description. And if you enjoy what I do here on YouTube, leave a like and subscribe to my channel.